Hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, okay. In case not, we are doing the Daily Northwestern's crossword this week. Um, it was created by, or is created every week by a Northwestern junior, Henry Alford. Um, and he recommended actually that we do last week's crossword. He thought it was a little bit better. Um, and hopefully maybe he'll tune in a little bit later in the stream and can give some insight into it. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hop in. I've got the chat here, so help is appreciated if anyone has suggestions. Um, yeah, wait, let me make sure this is the right one. Yeah, okay, cool. Sunday shouts, I'm not sure. Oh, I think this is Sadie Hawkins. Hopefully I spelled that right. Um, Sesame Street staple, California sunbather. Hmm. I feel like I feel like when you start these. Oh my God, this is huge. Hint to the start answers. I feel like when you start these, you just have to really go through until you know you know one. Honolulu's Island. Hmm. Hmm. These are tough. What? I don't understand how Henry writes these. Okay. In the air, snack for a squirrel, acorn. A oh, but it's singular. Hmm. I really have no strategy here. Hmm. Wouldn't this just be so embarrassing if I could only get one? Okay. Doppelganger? Oh, I want to say twin. Oh, twin. Yeah, cool. Okay. The U of old. Hmm. I hope there's like some 
Northwestern trivia or maybe a little something that me knowing Henry could help me get. That would be kind of fun. Waffle? Oh, I hop. Okay, okay. Eyes why shot actress. Oh, I should know this, I feel like, but I do not. It sounds so familiar, though. Oh. Asses. National Tree of Canada? I want to say maple. I think that just makes sense. Swelling? Hmm. Try this. Sunday shouts. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, Elmo. Okay. Cool. California Sunday there. Swelling. Mm. Not that we have any viewers on right now but in case people watch back i will plug our stream coming up i think this friday um i guess i don't want to give too much away but it'll be a super fun one we're all gonna be in character streaming so um you all should check that out hmm. I'm so curious when you're when you're making these crosswords, like how much time you have to spend on these long ones like this. Because I feel like it would be so hard to just come up with anything that fits that perfectly. Hmm. Oh, famous Amos. I don't know if I spelled that right. But like those little bags of the like super dry chocolate chip cookies. Oh, baton. Okay. Hmm. Tennis portion eight. Oh, that doesn't even work. Um. Hmm. EMT destinations. EMTs are like hospitals, right? Or, or emergency medical. Okay, yeah. It's probably like a ambulance. Spanish daddy, like, poppy? <laughs> Tug, maybe? What is this red? Does that just mean it's wrong? Oh my god, what? Does it tell you when it's wrong? Oh my god. Oh, okay, Henry's in here. Henry, do these tell you when you're wrong with the red? That seems kind of easy, I don't know. Glad you're here. Oh, oh wow. I'm so good, I just didn't even realize that. Oh, okay. We're getting a hot tip. To, oh my god, are these the answers? Oh my god, what happened? How do I... Where are the settings? Air checking's off? Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. I thought this one was good since Henry is an EMT driver that... 
uh, there's a little EMT reference there. Or not a driver, I guess, but someone who works in EMTs. Some sorority letters. Particle with a plus. Oh, I feel like I should know this. Hmm. It's really a flex to write these. I wonder how much of this Henry already like knows in his head and how much he's looking up. Side intersections, shredded. A number, I mean four. I guess it could be five. It's iron, right? I'm pretty sure. Fe. Oh, sea lion. That's great. Okay. We do have a regular viewer, puzzling old man, whom I'm very disappointed is not here right now. Okay, Morgan, okay, right? Morgan Freeman, Shawshank Redemption? No, 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 no. It's, um, isn't Ralph Fiennes in it from Harry Potter? Okay, Henry says, so for the longer answers, those are always themed, which means they're all connected by a consistent pun or other commonality. I write the themed answers in first and then fill in the rest of the letters around those. Oh, this is some great inside information. It's more than just a crossword stream. This is a behind the scenes, an exclusive you could say. Okay, spot for knot tying. Alter? Is it with an A? I feel like it's with an A. Trash, maybe? Oh, but this just doesn't look right. Okay, okay. Spot for... I feel like rubbish should be trash. I hope I can get this in the next 45 minutes. Okay. Oh, Bob Marley. Okay. Hmm. So I tried tug and it, the U and G were red. I thought that just makes so much sense. from a former bull star. Parisian hmm. summer. Man, I wish we had some other viewers on here to help me out. <laughs> Egg? Oh wait. Egg Dawn, that makes sense. Henry, if you're still on here, do you have any other, um... Oh my god, we got another viewer, let's go. Whoever's on right now would love some help figuring this out. 
But um, Henry, do you have any other fun facts about this or about your process? Maybe an anecdote about any clues in particular that you're proud of? For those who just joined us, we have the Crossword Puzzles creator on right now in the chat room, so kind of, oh, they left, all right. <laughs> I want to say ion. Is that a thing? Ion? I'm not sure. Oh, it's puzzling old man. Okay. I think that might be ion then. Um, yeah, feel free, definitely shout stuff out in the chat. I'm happy to take help on this. Um. Inhabited could be lived in? Possibly. Sus on 9A. Uh, rubbish. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure about that either. Oh, oh, lovely. We have um, the Crossword Puzzles creator, Henry Alford, wanting to hop in the chat, or hop into the stream here. Um, yeah, let's, let's have you on, Henry. Um, all right, you're gonna have to excuse us for two minutes. I'm gonna get him on here, but I think it'll be worth the wait. Let's see, Let me open up Skype. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, Okay, hopefully Henry should be hopping on here in a sec. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Hmm. Concert locale, like stage? That, that doesn't feel like a location. Oh, 12D. Okay, let's try. Where's 12D? To be take. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's try that. Mmm. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good as well. Let me see. Lunatic. Oh, I feel like I can get this. I, the thing is, I'm. I feel like Waffle House alternative would be IHOP. I'm wondering what could end in D. I guess that's more pancakes, but. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh my god, that took me a second to understand that. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm not sure that this is lived in. Could have been leftovers. Hmm. Oh great. Alright, we have Hello. another thing on. <laughs> Give me one second, Henry. I'm gonna get your your video feed on screen. Oh, what happened? Start. Okay, so we think 48 across resided. Hmm. Definitely possible. Okay. One sec, Henry, I'll get you on. All right, cool. I'm cooking right, right now. We're making, making some stir fry. fry. Oh, so nice. Now I'm cooking the stream. I got like the. Uh, oh my god. The attractive, like, like cutting board set up here. Pro tip. Skype, like, by default, does this weird thing where it um, blurs the background. So it looks a little funny for you right no. now. Which is fine, but... You know. Um, okay. So maybe what can you tell us? Maybe I'll just turn my video off. But, uh, okay. I'll just have this sound on. What can you tell us about this crossword? Yeah, yeah so, so this, this, this one ran... ran um, last week on a, on Monday. It comes out every Monday, so feel free to jump on and have fun doing that. Um, it was also submitted to the New York Times, so hopefully they accept it and you may see the New York Times in three months or something like that. But um, yeah, this one has a cool like celebrity theme to it. I don't think Jacob has figured the theme out yet. So um, any help with that would be Great, but yeah, it looks like you're doing okay. I think like a good strategy usually is just to go um, like section by section. So okay. like you're more likely to get a clue right if you already have a few letters in there than on a blank one. Mm. Okay, let's see. So we have um, we have a viewer in here right now who's helping us out. I don't know if you've had an eye on the chat, Henry. I have, I have. Let's see, four, we're four down can then be ruins. Hmm, not quite following that one. Um, how did you get into this, Henry? Well, I just, I remember I've always done crosswords. Um, I've always done like the New York Times mm. and the Washington Post. And then I just sort of figured one day I could try to teach myself how to write them. And I, I just read some few articles and just started practicing. Um, it's not like, a terribly hard thing to get into and you can kind of just teach yourself basically but mm. um i think it's kind of the most the trickiest part is coming up with like creative themes mm. for the puzzle and being able to like make them fit within like the very strict rules of crossword puzzle mm. like regulations Yeah. And then also, like, so for all of these, do you just have a word in mind? Or are you sometimes, like, looking up, like, a word that starts with this and ends with this or something like that? Yeah, so there's actually, um, there's, like, websites online mm. where you could type in, like, okay, so for just looking at one across, you have AM blank blank blank. Like, mm. I, you could just type into the search box am blank 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 mm. and it would give you like um amber or um amuse or just like random mm. 
words that fit that and then you just it's just kind of a lot of like trial and error from that point trying to pick out words that fit together in the sections got you man how was your trip to california <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it was so good. It was so nice. So like sunny. Just kind of sat on the beach for a while. Oh my kidding. god. Wait, you said you were in Laguna Beach? Newport Beach. Newport Beach. Oh man. I my volleyball team my junior year of high school lost in the state semifinals to Lagu- or to um New- in Newport Beach. To Newport. Damn. Puzzling old man says was A-Rod from Chicago Bulls. No, I believe A Rod was not. Yankees, right? Yes, the New York Yankees. Or I guess maybe you're thinking Dennis Rodman. That was Chicago Bulls. So just to like help you a little bit, but I would look at look at thirty seven across because that's kind of the key to the theme. It's like the big oh shoot, the big long one. Hmm. going on here okay ha who, who is elizabeth moss you don't know elizabeth moss no okay famous actress oh okay puzzling old man is really coming in clutch with some of these oh styed okay 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 can you? Who is Elizabeth Moss? <laughs> Since we have you here, she's in <laughs> Mad Men. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. She's she she's the main protagonist in The Handmaid's Tale in that show. Oh, as well. Oh, I do know. Is she also the one from Invisible Man? I feel like she is. I think she is. Let's see. Elizabeth Moss. This is cheating. Yeah, she is. Okay. Wow, and I feel like that movie came out in 2020. <laughs> hmm. I feel like it would fit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. I sort of came to that conclusion on my own. <laughs> yeah, I think, okay. you, I think you would have gotten there. I mean, you pointed it out. Like, I yeah. think you would have figured that out. Okay, okay. What are you cooking tonight? Oh, Alex. Okay. Um... I'm making a nice stir fry ground beef mm. and broccoli and carrots. Mm. Oh my god, I just had a nice little run there. So what'd y'all do in uh, Newport Beach? Um, just the beach? <laughs> just literally just the beach. We just needed a break from the Chicago winter and never seeing the sun. Yeah. And there being like eight miles of snow everywhere. I mean, it's like not even bad here right now. Yeah, we came back and it was so nice and now it's like 50 degrees every day. I was literally skating in just like a flannel and a short sleeve shirt. And I had to unbutton my flannel because I was getting too hot. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like skating weather again. Yeah. Oh, my God. I went out for the first time in, like, uh, probably two and a half months uh, yesterday, and it felt so good. Okay. I was also thinking Den um, for 45 across. Okay. Okay. Noble as some gases. What are the noble gases we know? I think Neon's one of them. That might be the extent of my knowledge. Oh, wait. Oh, it was Dennis Rodman. Wait, wait. Dennis Rod. Let's go. Yeah, so that one that Dennis Rodman won. Or Dennis Rod is like it's one of the themed answers. Mm. It's one of the longest ones. So it relates back to the Invisible Man. Hmm, intriguing. 
And then we have bathroom fixture for an abolitionist. Did you have any some good, good music? Where do you uh, oh. <laughs> where do you source your music from <laughs> on the stream? Um, I have a playlist. Um, it, this is one of those playlists. Like, I feel like sometimes you meet. I feel like maybe like every three months I'll meet someone who's like who I want to like send a playlist to or share my music with, and like I'll make a recount of like just all the songs I'm most proud of knowing. And this was one of those playlists. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely get that. Like, want to put my best foot forward, here's my music taste. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Cool. Did you have any good California food while you were there? Um, I tried, I ate a lot of fish. Oh, Mid as you yeah. should. My friend, Chris, you know Chris. He's he's from uh, like An the Anaheim area, so like mm. not that far from Orange County. And he like gave us some recommendations for some really good like fish taco places. Oh my god! In the area. You know what I did recently that was so good that we should do. Uh... Oh wait, are you gonna be around here this summer, Henry? Yes, I will be. Oh my god! I just found out that I will be as well. That's gonna be so fun. Nice. What are you doing this summer? Um, I just accepted an offer to do video for Forbes this summer, which I'm stoked about. Um, I saw that in your Twitter bio. Yes. <laughs> I was like, wait. It was like one of the first things. I called my mom and I put it in my Twitter bio. It was like, you know, I was set. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, and then also next quarter I'm doing Chicago Field Studies, so I'm basically just working. So we should wow. definitely, I mean, we'll be working adults for the next six months yeah seriously <laughs> which is kind of weird oh thank you so much puzzling old man i appreciate it yeah that's a that's gonna be an awesome internship yeah i'm excited okay i'm guessing this is nicole kid <laughs> though i don't know i guess yeah nicole kidman oh make oh oh my god these are clever henry these are clever <laughs> And Harriet Tub. I think you're catching on. Yeah. We're really at the point where, like, I have five words here. We're just missing one letter. Yeah, I think you could get the other, like, missing man ones. Mmm. Okay. Shawshank Redemption. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was Morgan Freeman. I couldn't remember if he was in that movie. Oh wow, this is great, this is great. Okay, debt. 44D shined. So, okay, I have to like make this puzzle and to decide what the theme, the theme people were gonna be, like which people were gonna yeah. have with their last, last name ending in man. I had a few other ones that didn't make the cut, but um, David Letterman was going to be David Letter. Mm. And then Chadwick Boseman was going to be Chadwick Bose. Mm. What was the hint going to be for that? What's a Bose? I think I was going to do like the speaker system. Oh. Like, um, I don't know. Speaker speaker from Wakanda or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would have been good. I've been hearing a lot of hype about the new Marvel movie Eternals. Or actually, wait, are you watching WandaVision too? No. How okay. Is it? I'm not. I'm not either. <laughs> Was gonna ask you. <laughs> oh. But I've been yeah. hearing a lot of hype about that other film as well. Okay. Oh my God! These answers are just flooding in. Um, 15, I can't even find it. Where's 15? Oh, okay. Oh, break a leg. Makes sense. Oh, we can get this. Suppressing speech. Oh. 
censoring. Okay. Align. Um, Odor. Berg. Oh, I like that. Mark of Amigo song. Hmm? <laughs> Oh man. Is ad lib? Is that how you spell that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of like the just them repeating each other, I feel like. <laughs> like echoing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's exa exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, so like I sent this one into the New York Times, and I know like they're not going to put Migos in it because like their viewership is all like 50 years old or <laughs> above and so i just put it in anyway because they probably like they say that they usually change like 50 percent of the clues anyway for real but i thought that was funny yeah what is that process like so do you just like email it to them or like do, have you heard back at all they have like a submission um like website online that you can submit through and you just have to submit like a pdf that's in a certain form mm. um and then they say that they'll get back to you within like three months, mm. which is kind of a long time. Yeah. But um, yeah, I submitted one, and over the summer, and they like, it was very nice. They like emailed me back, and they like, they denied it, but like mm. they gave me like sort of a breakdown of what they liked about it and what they thought I could like work on, which was pretty cool. Wait, to what? Hear that from like, yeah, just from the New York Times. Wait, what did they like? That's so cool that they actually gave feedback. Yeah, they, I don't remember what exactly the words were, but there were, like, a few words that they thought were, like, creative. Mm. Um, or, like, a few, like, phrases that I had put in that were, I guess, like, new for them, and they thought those were creative. And mm. then they, like, sort of criticized. They said, like, the theme wasn't, like, consistent enough across the, all of the long, all of the longest words. Mm. Um, so that was just, like, a nice something to, like, work on mm. for the future so I can submit again. Yeah, Puzzling Old Man says that's so cool. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really hoping to, like, um, get one in the New York Times. I feel like that'd be such a cool accomplishment. And then I could, like, like a movie just run down to, like, the newsstand <laughs> and buy a copy. Wouldn't that be nuts if, like, like all of our friends are in, or, like, you know, our friend group, I feel like, is in journalism. Yeah. But Henry's in the New York Times first. <laughs> Before everybody. <laughs> it would be kind of, like, funny. I was like, yeah, I, mm. I think like um, the LA LA Times, yeah, LA Times and Washington Post um, also like have open submissions, mm. which are cool. Have you haven't tried them? No, I don't know. The New York Times is just kind of like the gold standard of <laughs> <laughs> crosswording. So in the crossword community, <laughs> right. Like, smaller papers don't even have, like... I'm sure there's, like, only, like, five real, like, full-time crossworders in the world, right? Like, I feel like smaller papers so. don't do anything. Or just, like, copy other ones. Yeah, because I, I think it's hard to have, like, a daily one. Yeah. It's, like, a lot, kind of a lot of content. So I think it's just the New York Times, Washington Post, LA Times, Wall Street Journal, USA Today. Mm. There's probably a few other ones. How's your work been? It's good. I've been ambulancing. Mm. I'm just, I don't know, getting accustomed to working on the ambulance and like, I don't know, I think you always just come in like kind of raw and like, I don't know, there's some things that you can only learn through experience yeah. with the emptying. So I mean, just kind of embracing the learning curve great that you're there i feel like yeah it's definitely a really cool experience yeah all right we got a little french music in here true yeah uh in the chat pointed out that there are probably people outside of the u.s that do crosswords too that's true I don't even. Can, can you name one news, major newspaper outside the U.S.? I guess there's like, what's the big one Al, in Al Jazeera? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a big one. 
All right, we are almost done here. Yeah, you're almost there. A waste. There we go. Spot for tying the knot. Oh, it was altar. I think, right? Yeah. Oh, walnut. It. There we go. Appearance looks. Parisian summer. Yeah, so that's one of those, like, um, kind of BS, like, three-letter words that you kind of just have to put in to make things fit. Mm. Um, so those are kind of hard to get. It usually comes down to that, though, at the end of the puzzle. There's, like, a mm. few just, like, things that you just can't fit. And so you have to come up with, like, a sort of a weird abbreviation or, like, a foreign language word or something, like, kind of... Mm. That's doesn't feel as crisp and stuff to finish it but um wait henry we gotta get you on here i've been playing steven on live stream in chess we gotta get you on here someday uh, i know you would we... smoke me but i think it'd be fun yeah i think we could i think i would love to do that um Do you want to give me a hint on this Parisian summer? <laughs> sure, it's it's the French word for summer. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can't say I do. Try to get um one of the other ones. Yeah. What are, what are the cross ones? A number. Uh. Oh yeah. Um, mm. Like, I'm thinking like phone number or like. Hmm. Forty nine down doing. It's possible. Oh, a song like a like a number in a musical. We'll try it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just cool to, like, I don't know, because I, I think a lot of times it's hard to judge, like, how hard a clue that I make up is going to be and how mm. hard it's going to be for people to guess it. And, mm. like, it's cool to, like, watch people do it. Yeah. And then I can see, like, okay, <laughs> this, uh, this little block at the end might be kind of too hard. I might need to, like, dial the clues back a little bit. Uh, uh, side intersections? Hmm. Oh, uh, hmm. oh, toned, maybe forty eight has got the MG. Oh, yeah. Song is feeling sus, for sure. Stage director. Okay. Wow, this is frustrating. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I really hate the end of crosswords because it's uh it just gets tricky and okay yeah mc was a great sum oh is it like a play on words like sum sum no like um if you said like there's a number of something like there's a number of things there's some things. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. That's probably not the best clue, though. Yeah. Probably yeah. Revise that. All right. I see, I see, I see. Cool. Well, we solved it, y'all. <laughs> um, oh, you misspelled it, but nice. <laughs> oh, Berg. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, thank Henry. you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
GG. Fantastic puzzle. I had a great time. Um, yeah, thank you to Puzzling Old Man. Thank you to Henry Alford here. Henry, do you have any closing thoughts before we get out of here? Um, not really. Just, you know, crosswords come out of the Daily Northwestern every Monday if you want to check that out. Yes. It's been fun, though. Huge plug for the Daily. Huge plug for Henry's Crosswords. Huge plug for the Night Lab. Like, subscribe, follow. You already know, already know what to do. Um, all right, we're going to sign off here. Bye, y'all. Thanks, guys.